Okay, so to start with the process, we'll first open up uh, the web browser and we'll simply type mingw compiler. Okay, and the first page that opens up mingw.org, we'll simply click on it. And once the page loads, we'll go to this downloads page. In the download page, we'll select the first one, which is MinGW Installation Manager, and we'll click on it. Again, we'll click on this Get Version. A list of files will be shown, and the last one is for us, that is the exe file. We'll simply click on this again. Now ideally, the setup file should be downloaded automatically. If it is not downloaded, just click on this link. Okay. So in my case, I can see that the file is getting downloaded. So once the download is finished, I will simply click on it. And I'll click on install and continue. So a few files will be downloaded from the internet and then we can actually begin with the installation process So once uh, it shows that the catalog update is completed, we'll uh, just click on continue and this uh, window will open which uh, shows us the MinGW installation manager and it gives us under the basic setup option, it gives us a set of packages. So clicking on each package will actually give you a list of, uh, you know, description about what the package is about. So the best option or the best way out is to select all of these packages right but as you can see that uh, there are a few of these that are uh, corresponding to the ADA or Fortran compilers but right now we'll go for each of these packages so we'll simply uh, click on this box and we'll mark for installation and we will do this for all the packages listed here right so for the first one we have done it we'll keep on doing this for all of it so we'll click on this box and mark for installation. Now once we have done this for all of the listed packages, we'll simply go to the installation part and we will click on apply changes and it will show us that 115 new packages will be installed. We will simply click on apply. So this will trigger off the downloading of these packages and we will have to wait for a while until the downloads finish, right?
So as we can see now, uh, the files have been downloaded automatically and once that is complete, the schedule changes are applied, that is the files are installed one after the other. So again we have to wait for a while before this files uh, installation is completed. So now we find that it is written, all changes are applied successfully, you may now close this dialog. So we will simply click on close and we can also close this window. If it shows any action requires confirmation box, you can just click on discard changes, right? So once this is complete, we can now move on to the last step, which is the most crucial one, right? So we need to search for this PC or we need to go to its icon we need to right click on it and go to its properties right and go to advanced system settings environment variables within the system variables table we need to select the path right and we need to paste something here what do we need to paste so for that just open your file explorer go to your c drive you will find a folder called mingw uh, go inside that folder and you will find another folder called bin. Now this bin folder contains your GCC or G++ compilers as you can see, right? So we need to just click here and this path will be selected. And next we need to copy this path, right? Again, let's come back to the system properties window and the in the edit system variable box in the uh, variable value for the path variable there is already something written right so we will simply put a semicolon behind whatever is written and we will paste the path that we have copied just now and we will put a semicolon again we will click ok again we will click ok and ok right so then we can close all of these windows we will simply open up command prompt right and just type in gcc as you see, it will show you fatal error, no input files. Now, this signifies that the GCC compiler is successfully installed on your machine. So, if you have any programs in written in C code using any word editing software, any, you know, text editing software, you can just save it with the extension .c and you can compile it using the command prompt, right? So, this was all for the whole tutorial. Thank you.